It has now just been made official. It is Grant Chaps. Uh, let's talk to our correspondent uh, down there, Sam. Sam, is this appointment about the defence of Britain's realm or the defence of Rishi Sunak's selection chances? Look, Grant Schatz is now the Defence Secretary. Britain uh, is helping Ukraine uh, with military operations in, against Russia. Uh, there is an enormous agenda in the in-tray for the new Defence Secretary, inflation eating away into the budget, uh, a lot of problems to deal with. So, yes, he will take full control of the defence brief, but you cannot escape the politics of today is that this is an appointment all about the election. Grant Schatz is the jack of all trades of cabinet ministers, whether he was a uh, transport secretary under Boris Johnson, whether he was briefly home secretary under Liz Truss, despite campaigning against her. Uh, he was business secretary earlier this year. Now uh, he's just come out of the energy and net zero uh, strategy. He was Conservative Party chairman. Uh, in the back room, he helped Rishi Sunak sort of, as it were, uh, become prime minister. He is a guy known for his spreadsheets about politics and about uh, the machinations of how to make uh, political deals and create prime ministers uh, and make things happen on the domestic scene, as well as being uh, a formidable communicator in the TV studios. That is the reason today Grant Chaps has now been promoted to the role of Defence Secretary. His skill set is not foreign affairs. He has precious little uh, experience uh, of that. It's not uh, military affairs. He has precious uh, little uh, experience of that. Uh, number 10 have appointed him to dial down the tensions between number 10 and the MOD. Ben Wallace fought very hard for the defence community, uh, a former Scots Guard himself. That sometimes lent, uh, led itself to quite a lot of kinetic moments, uh, as it were, between number 10 uh, and the MOD. Uh, and I think that that is not something of interest uh, when it comes to uh, Rishi soon as he goes into uh, the election. But, Jane, and this is really important, uh, we have Grant Chaps. What do you know about defence, Grant Chaps? Why should we trust you about to, with the defence of the nation? And there he is, accompanied by the chief of the defence staff, a signal that he, a visual signal that he is now the defence secretary. It looks to me uh, as if he's going to do what Ben Wallace sometimes did, uh, which is actually leave Downing Street on foot. There's quite a lot of security detail just a little bit further down the street, which you can't quite see now. Uh, joining him, he will now walk across the street rather than taking a car. Uh, the I don't know, 250 yards, uh, ooh, 100 yards or so to the uh, back door of the Ministry of Defence, which is just over Whitehall uh, from, uh, from Downing Street. It's just a uh, one uh, nip across a couple of lines, uh, lanes of traffic uh, and you're in the back door of the MOD, where he will then greet all the other uh, officials, uh, the other ministers, such that are not uh, on holiday uh, and uh, uh, begin the process of being inducted uh, into uh, the job of Defence Secretary. Popular? Good on TV, uncontroversial, not somebody who fights. But, Jane, that doesn't mean that this appointment is not controversial amongst some, perhaps those uh, who care uh, a little bit more uh, about uh, the uh, defence and um, security uh, brief. Let me bring you the words of one backbench Tory MP. Unsurprisingly, they don't want to be named, and so they can be a little bit bolder. So you have to remember, they're not choosing to put their name against this quote. But nevertheless, let me read it to you. Grant Shapps is such an uninspired choice as Defence Secretary. This man doesn't get across detail and only cares about photos and gimmicky press releases. What a wasted opportunity by Rishi, who could have appointed somebody of substance. I was reading that for the first time. A fairly punchy quote from somebody not willing to put their name to it. You have to bear that in mind. Easier to be much harsher. Uh, points nasty if you're uh, 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 giving an anonymous quote. Nevertheless, uh, that is the view of one. 